Welcome to another edition of Kitchen Chemistry. I'm Julie, an education specialist with the New Mexico Museum of Space History, and today I have a mystery. When I got to the studio today, I found this note. It said, Julie, if you can find which marker wrote this note, I'll buy you a pizza. And it's signed, Dave, the education director at the museum. How am I going to find out which marker made this note? Well, that's all part of our chemistry experiment. And it just involves a few items that you have around the house. What you're going to need today is you're going to need some distilled water. You're going to need a glass or two. And then you're going to need to go find all the black markers that you have in your house. Now you can also do this with colored markers, which is a fun experiment. You can also do it with food, um, like Worcestershire sauce or Kool-Aid, and you can do this uh, process with those kind of things. And then you're gonna need some scissors. So go gather up all those materials and come right back, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna find out which marker wrote this note, because I'm ready for a pizza. I noticed that the note was written on a paper towel, so I cut a sample out of the note to test and see if I could tell which marker was used to write the note. I put distilled water into the glass and dipped the strip of paper into the water, making sure that the ink from the paper did not go below the water line. The paper towel absorbs the water and spreads out the ink from the marker. The lab process I am using is called chromatography. Chromatography is the process of spreading a mixture by passing it through a solution where the different components move at different rates. As I let the water carry the ink up the paper towel, I see that many colors were used to make this ink black. Every brand of marker uses a different combination of colors that make their black ink. Now I need to test all of the markers that I have found around the house to see if I can match one of them to the note. I take a paper towel and cut it into thin strips. I draw a line across the strip about five centimeters from the bottom. I then tape the strip to the pin and carefully place the strip into the water, making sure that the black ink does not sink below the water level. I do this with all of the markers that I want to test. Then I wait for five minutes. Remove the test strips and let them dry for five more minutes. Then I can compare each of the chromatography strips to the strip I made of the note. The Expo marker did not spread at all. This means that it is not a washable marker. Using another type of solution like rubbing alcohol would make the colors of this marker separate. After comparing them, it is easy to see that the note was written with a Visa V marker. So did you use the paper chromatography and did your friends figure out which marker you used to write your note? Well, thank you for joining me today for another episode of Kitchen Chemistry. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we're always adding new projects and new information. And as always, stay home, stay safe, and keep looking up.